Hi, I'm Chelsea, the Christian Nutritionist. If you want some really amazing health advice, look no further than the first chapter of the Bible. The creation story in Genesis gives us so many clues as to what we should be prioritizing in our health. Check it out. What is the first thing that God creates and establishes? Light. People seriously underestimate the importance of light on the body. Light, dark, day, night, sun, moon. This is what creates our circadian rhythm, our body clock, and light and dark play an enormous role, have major influence over our hormones, our metabolism, our detoxification, our digestion. Now, one thing to know is that sitting under artificial light all day is really bad for you. Get outside and get some natural light. If you will get some sun in your eyes first thing in the morning, this can help set your cortisol pattern and help determine how you sleep later that night. Also, we know that getting light, getting some sunshine on our skin helps us to make vitamin D. Now, next up in the creation story, we talk about water and land. Did you know that the earth is made up of about 70% water? Our bodies are about 60% water. So good, pure, clean water is important for our outer environment and our inner environment. You've got to drink enough water. As far as land goes, there's this new frou-frou term called nature bathing, which in real people language means get your butt outside and play, get some fresh air, get your hands and your feet in the dirt. This can help reduce inflammation and also establish good gut bacteria. Next, God created plants and animals, which would become our food and our medicine. God created man and he said, be fruitful and multiply, which I would also argue is important for good health if you catch my drift. And finally, God rested on the seventh day. And if God prioritizes rest, then so should we. Sleep is absolutely critical to your health. There are so many things happening while you're sleeping. Kind of goes back to that circadian rhythm thing, but we detoxify while we sleep. Our hormones are rebalancing. Our brain is resetting. All kinds of things are going on. So sleep is critical for optimal health. And that's about it. That's what I would call the Genesis prescription for better health. And so when you're considering your health and what changes you should make. Address these basic elements because there is no better approach to holistic health and living than the one that God has laid out here. I hope you enjoyed this sermon on the couch. Have a healthy and blessed week.